Hello YouTube friends, Dr. Teresa Yulrich here again. I mentioned in the previous video that I thought it might be good to show you how I go about mixing together salt water. Uh, I had also mentioned that it's really good to have um, seasoned salt water when you're doing water changes. You don't want to be just adding in salt and fresh water at the time. I have about five gallons of water here in a bucket. This is just tap water. I live in a suburban community. We have clean water that comes from a faucet. I know that some people like to use distilled water or reverse osmosis water. Personally, in my experience, I haven't really found that it makes a difference when I'm preparing water for just a fish only aquarium, even seahorses. Uh, I find those types of water to be more important for a full reef aquarium, and I've never kept that before, so I haven't really had the need to use those. So one of the things that you'll hear are the terms salinity and specific gravity tossed around quite a bit. Uh, just for our purpose here, I'm going to explain salinity usually refers to the percent or amount of salt in water. What we're trying to measure is the specific gravity because that's based on context. So I am going to pull out my high pre precision hydrometer. And let me see if I can get that for you so you can see it really well. Notice there's a green area there and then there are the numbers and that green area is the range we want. Usually that's between 1.025 and 1.020 parts per million. I'm going to put the hydrometer in the water and you can see it is sinking way down. I don't have any salt in there, so of course that's exactly what I expect. Let me grab my lid here and I'm gonna put my hydrometer on top. I have handy some synthetic sea salt here. There are a lot of brands on the market. Um, from my understanding, the more expensive the brand, the more minerals that tend to be in the brand. So what I do is I start off just adding a little bit of water, excuse me, salt, pour it right in there. And I'll be honest, a lot of times I just use my hand or my arm, but today I'm going to use a um, kitchen plastic spoon and I'm gonna go right in there and stir. And I was talking about specific gravity. Specific gravity um, is, a, is a measurement that is dependent on water temperature. This water is pretty cold right now the colder the temperature, the higher the measurement of specific gravity we're going to be um, seeing. The warmer the water, the lower the specific gra gravity. And basically that just shows the ability of the water to hold weight. And um, I'm sure you've probably heard that as things warm up, the molecules expand. As they cool down, molecules contract. So this water is pretty cold. I added a little bit of salt. And I'm looking at where my salt level falls in the specific gravity measurement, not even close to the green yet. So I know I need to add more. I always prefer to start off adding a little less than I think I need, just because it's easier to add more rather than adding too much and having to dilute it, which wastes the salt and the water. So I'm gonna add a little bit more. All right, and we'll try it again. But when I start adding this much, especially when the water is this cold, I need to double check that the salt on the bottom is fully dissolved. It definitely dissolves a lot easier in warmer water than it does in cold water. Now this a hydrometer that I have also has a temperature gauge. I wonder if it's giving any clue of how cold the temperature is here. I'm just holding this um, so I can see what the thermometer is showing. Huh, 
I'm looking at the red and it looks like it's really close to where we want it to be. So maybe it's not as cold as I thought. But anyway, I'm going to give the salt level, the specific gravity, a little bit of a test here. And I don't know if you can see, it's hovering just a little bit above the green band right about there. So it might be a tiny bit higher than what I would want to have in an aquarium. But remember, we have the context of temperature. So I know that this water is definitely colder than the water in the aquarium that this will be swapped out with when we do a water change. That means as the water warms up, that level of specific gravity is going to lower and it will fall into the green area. So I think that's a pretty good level right now. I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm not going to add more um, water to dilute it because like I said, once this room, this water sits at room temperature, for example, it just came out of the spigot and it, it is pretty cold. Once that water gets to uh, room temperature, I have a feeling that this um, specific gravity measurement will fall right into that green range that we want. So when I am finished, what I do is I just take my lid that goes with my bucket here and I put it on there and then I store the whole bucket of prepared salt water um, not too far away from the tank because I don't want to have to lug it around five gallons of water can be pretty heavy uh, but I do keep some sort of lid on not only to prevent evaporation to the degree possible but just to prevent dust and other things from falling into the water then when I'm ready for my water change I can just go right ahead and, and scoop water out of here to replace what was taken out of the um, aquarium during the water change. So that's it. That's my simple way of just mixing up salt water. Like I said, it's important when you do have your fish, your seahorses, whatever marine animals you're going to have in your aquarium, you do want to have seasoned water. Now I'm not adding any products to this. For example, no dechlorinator. As water that comes from a tap sits, that chlorine that is put into the water to keep it clean, it evaporates, it dissipates on its own. So if I just let the water sit, I really don't need to treat it with anything. Um, and I'll have confidence that that water will be in perfect condition by the time that I'm ready to actually use it after a water change. So that's all for today. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate your being with me. Um, my next video, I think I'll go ahead and do another small water change and hopefully I'll be more successful than the last time where you got to see the disaster if you did view that video. But anyway, um, after that water change, we'll try testing the water again and see if we're finally ready to order those seahorses. Thank you and see you next time.